This is a refrigerator trailer. It's got two wheels. You can pull it behind your car. It's got a tow hook there that you hook on your car. And inside this box is the compressor. And there's a dial thermometer on there. And uh, the lid has got these two latches. But it's one big compartment inside. And these are freezers. Now this one just arrived just now. I've never worked on this particular one before. But I get a lot of these. There's a guy that deals in ice cream and he brings these things to me all the time. Um, he drives all over South Africa with these things. And he, he does a lot of bad dirt roads where the pipes inside that box there where the compressor is often they shake off we've had where the components shake loose and everything so I'm going to open that box just now and have a look at this trailer to see what the problem is but it's just straight 220 there's a plug so you plug it onto 220 you run it until it's cold when it's cold enough you unplug it and then you hook it behind your car and off you go I took a whole lot of very rusted bolts out and we got the cover off there's the cover now so what we've got here we've got a compressor there's a fan motor pressure switch this is the control box for the compressor there's a thermostat and a dial thermometer so it's very basic refrigeration system because this is uh, deep freeze this is a low low temp so obviously use uh, high pressure gas like 507 404 or the older ones with 502 but i'll do a couple of tests and then we'll find the fault with this i've plugged it in i just ran an extension cord out here compressor starts up it's running fan motor is running but the compressor is making a hell of a racket it looks like one of the springs inside because there's three springs where the motor hangs on looks like one of the springs is snapped uh, the motor is like knocking against the side there fan motor is very noisy but the high side's getting warm so there is gas in the system so i'm gonna run it for a couple of hours just to see that it cooled down but you're gonna have to change the compressor and it's a good idea to change the fan motor when we're about it but let's just run it and see temperature there is about 23 degrees 22 degrees and normally these things run at about minus 20 so i'll leave it for a couple of hours and just see what happens i spoke to the owner of this refrigerator trailer and i told him that the compressor wasn't usable anymore and we should change the fan motor and he said please go ahead and try and cut costs where I can so I had this uh, second hand compressor in stock that comes out of an ultra low freezer and if you look there it's marked refrigerant R13 now I haven't used R13 in years I don't even know whether it's available still uh, but this is a three quarter horsepower compressor which is more or less what this trailer should have I've put a new fan motor on there um, and I've mounted it on two sets of brackets purely because this thing is going to be towed around behind a car and it's going to rattle around so the more steady we can mount things the better um, this is the original suction I just had to make a bend and fit it on the compressor is bolted onto the base there's the pressure switch I haven't connected the the low side of the pressure switch on yet it's only one fitting which I'm using to charge it now I wasn't sure what gas was in here <clears throat> but seeing I'm using a very old R13 compressor and I still had in stock some DuPont Freon 502 I charged the system with 502 it's going to be a deep freeze so we'll run it and uh, see what it does there's the gauge on suction pressure is running quite low it's pumping nice and hot and it sounds much quieter than before these trailers take a good 12 to 20 hours to reach temperature it's only been on for about five minutes and it's going for 12 degrees celsius 
Our ambient temperature outside here in Johannesburg at the moment is 30 degrees plus. So it's extremely hot outside and this freezer doesn't fit inside my shop so I'm doing it outside in the sun. This base where the compressor is mounted on is not mounted yet, it's still loose. Um, once I've done everything and mounted the pressure switch and put all the pipes on then I'll mount this base on with screws and then we'll put this cover back on but at the mo moment I'm just running it I'll probably run it the whole day to see what temperature it can reach but this compressor sounds pretty quiet the fan is quiet my guess is this compressor is about 30 years old um, it hasn't run for all that time it was in a lab um, they use R13 to reach temperatures of negative 100 Fahrenheit or minus 80 Celsius um, which we won't achieve with this trailer uh, but R11 is no longer in use we use R23 for those applications this compressor has been running for a while out here in the sun there's a temperature it's just about 30 degrees below zero in Celsius Suction pressure is about one pound above vacuum, so the compressor is running pretty low. Everything seems to run nicely, the suction is cold. And this is the thermometer with our ambient temperature in Johannesburg now, 31.3. So there's like a 60 degree difference in temperature between the room temperature and the inside of this freezer. So I think we leave it running overnight it probably might drop another couple of degrees but I think it's working fine so I'll connect the presser switch connect the thermostat if the guy wants it and put it all together I've uh, mounted the base now there's uh, a new screw there's a new screw there and I used the old one here I had to drill four new holes this base was right against the body but on this new compressor the service valve is very close so I've left a little space so the compressor can move so I moved the base a little closer there's still enough space for the cover to fit um, pressure switch I made two new holes right through the body and put two bolts in uh, thermostat I've disconnected so the mains cord runs through the pressure switch um, the client doesn't want this thing to cycle I'll just put a pressure switch in but if at some point it loses its gas develops a gas leak and the system goes into a vacuum it will just switch the compressor off uh, that's the only function for the pressure switch but the high side part of the pressure switch is connected as well purely a safety device if the fan should stop the high side pressure increases switch the compressor off I'll put some of these little ties on here what I do is I take a piece of pipe and put a zip tie in the middle just so that this thing when it shakes around I put two down there to dry it as well so it doesn't shake the pipes off but I think it's all right I'll just put the cover on and then the customer can come fetch it I put the cover together now here's the cord that comes out um, this cover has got two flaps um, probably for transporting uh, you close it there's one on the other side as well um, this is our ambient temperature in Johannesburg now 35.5 and the fridge I had the compressor off for a while it's on minus 29 um, but minus 30 but there it is complete this is all steady ready to go out um, with the second hand compressor in it